Just love this song. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all over the world, I'm Rob D, and welcome to my channel. So today, I am making a list of things to do in Japan. I know, right? It has been some time since we have traveled, most especially outside the country because of what's happening right now. But when restrictions go down, trust me, Japan is one of the first places I'll be visiting again. I love Japan. And oh, by the way, I'll be bringing my family with me together with my Joa. That is why later on, she'll be coming over, bringing some Japanese food, and we'll talk about our experiences as well. Aguto, no? If you have been to Japan and have some interesting things to do, please let me know in the comment section below, and I will be putting those in my bucket list. But if you haven't been to Japan, or if you're planning to go again just like me, then you should subscribe to my channel and watch this vlog. Most especially, I have partnered up with the Japan National Tourism Organization, JNTO, I love you, and will bring you informative articles about traveling in Japan. There are six articles in total covering topics such as unique Japanese food I have personally enjoyed in northern Japan, <laughs> where to see beautiful cherry blossoms, and a whole lot more. And these articles are now all live on the Visit Japan Philippines website, and I'll be linking them below in the description box. So go ahead and check them out, okay? Did you hear that? Sakto. I think that one is Mikey, and I'm hungry for her love. But for sure, um, we'll be talking about lots of experiences, together with eating lots of Japanese food. So, if you're ready, then let's have some Japanese food. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all over the world, here we go. Oh, there. Hi. Target blocked. Yay. Hi. 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 Well, thank you for the food. We got ramen, we got tempura, sushi, and your favorite? Tamago. <laughs> oh, was it you? What's the favorite? Oh, you're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now before we plan our next trip while eating our favorite Japanese food, I want to ask you, do you remember your first time in Japan? First time? 2014. Right after graduation. No, Almost. No, was working na. Okay. You should, know. you should know. What happened? My family and I went to Osaka. <gasps> so, mm. That was the very first time. In Osaka, you can find, um, siyempre, there's culture right there. You can eat na? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Osaka, what did you do? Uh, we went to Kyoto to see all the is it temple? temples. Temples. Mm -hmm. yeah. You may orange one. Red orange. No, I didn't see that one. Iba yun. No. Well, don't worry, because we're supposed that. to do that one before the pandemic. Oh, that's and then, weird, that one. yes, um, <laughs> you can also get the best okonomiyaki. This is the pancake. Pancake and also the oh the food the octopus balls. Yeah, the street food. The yes. Japanese street food. Aonahan uh, tayo. I'll give you five seconds. Five, oh, no. four, three, <laughs> two. I don't know. The answer is ta. Takoyaki. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Takoyaki. Takoyaki. You went to, of course, Tokyo. Then I went to Tokyo also. Mm -hmm. Very different year, na. Oh. When was the last time 
you went to Japan. 2019. 2019? Yeah. Oh. Just right before. Buti na lang. Buti ka pa. Sana I went first to Japan when I was three years old. Oh yeah, because your dad diba? was... He worked there for some time. 1993, na I was so cute. And here are pictures to prove that one. I went back, I think 2019 as well. That long, no. I went back 10 many years, uh, 20 years after. Very many times. So yeah. I went there three years old. I went back when I was 23 na, again. For Hokkaido. For Hokkaido, yes. What Hokkaido? Wow. Yup, yup, yup. Lots of times. Almost every year, I ko to Japan because of the series Lakwachero. And then the last time that I went there was 2019 when I got that project to feature Japan East. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. there is a vlog about that. Oh yeah, before we eat, you know what the Japanese say? Oh yeah, what? Itadakimasu! What does it mean? Let's go eat! Oh. Can you say it? Itadakimasu. Oh, wow! <laughs> Itadaki is so cute! You know, pag natapos tong pandemic and actually when restrictions go down, ano ba yung mga places na gusto mong puntahan sa Japan in the future? I wanna go back to Osaka. Mm -hmm. To visit Universal Studios. <laughs> yes. Kasi di ba, they have the new Super Nintendo, Nintendo World. Mario. And then soon Pokemon. Yes, please. <laughs> Our favorite. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. You know what I've never seen? What's, What's that? Cherry Blossom. Yes, okay, let's plan for that one. Now, Cherry Blossoms are one of the must-see things in Japan, and I know the perfect places to go to. We can go see the Cherry Blossoms at Arakurayama Sengen Park in Yamanashi. It's located in Fujiyoshida City, Yamanashi Prefecture. It is famous for panoramic views of Mount Fuji with a five-story pagoda. The cherry blossoms bloom here every spring. They even have an annual Arakurayama Sengen Park Cherry Blossom Festival here, usually between March and April. Yun, exacto. Yeah. And we can go there to celebrate Our all of your birthdays. Mine. Your birthday, Maro and Papa. And do you know that Japan also has illuminated cherry blossoms? Oh, what's that? Let's go there. Okay. <laughs> so when you talk about illuminated cherry blossoms, these are found in Takada Castle Site Park in Niigata. It is in Jowetsu City, Niigata Prefecture. It's a top cherry blossom spot with more than 4,000 cherry blossom trees. They also have an annual Takada Castle Cherry Blossom Festival that features a sakura road of illuminated cherry blossom trees with about 3,000 paper lanterns. Oh, are there other things we can do? like? I know you love strawberries, right? They're famous for strawberries. Yes, and strawberries these big. <laughs> I love strawberries so much. And we can do that one, strawberry picking in Fukuoka. While strawberries are widely produced in Japan, the famous Amao variety is slowly cultivated in Fukuoka Prefecture. Alam mo ano strawberry in Japanese? What? Ichigo. The Amao strawberry are huge in size with this juicy texture, sweet flavor, and stunningly red color. It's known as the king of strawberries. And did you know that it even made it to the Guinness World Records in 2015 as the heaviest strawberry in the world weighing record-breaking 250 grams. Strawberry picking is actually available December to May in that prefecture. Wait! We haven't understand the most important part. I am the important I... part. <laughs> and you. Oh. And food. Food, yes. Japanese food, like this. Got you. What do you want? Um, ramen, tempura, sushi, 
Me? Everything. Sky, <gasps> wow. <laughs> okay, why don't we try something different? No? Something unique. Have you ever heard of the Toyama Black Ramen? No. Now, Toyama Black Ramen is unique regional ramen coming from the Toyama Prefecture. It has this jet black soup that's achieved by combining black soy sauce with chicken and fish stock. Usually, yung toppings niya, roasted pork, green onions, black pepper, and egg. I'm excited to know. <laughs> you know, and you're hungry. I'm hungry. Very hungry. Last but not the least, you know, we can't forget to have sushi. You want to try the Iwakuni Zushi? What's that? Iwakuni Zushi. Zushi. Yes, Iwakuni. You <laughs> Iwakuni said that right. Iwakuni Zushi is this kind of traditional sushi originating in Iwakuni City, Yamaguchi Prefecture. It is a pressed sushi created by layering sushi rice and ingredients such as fish, lotus roots, fried egg, and vegetables. <laughs> Just thinking about it, it's prepared in large amounts and is pressed into a wooden mold before being cut into bite-sized pieces. This is a staple in celebrations and special occasions because of its colorful appearance. It's not just food, especially for Japanese, no? It is a work of art. <laughs> there we have it, of course. There is a lot more that we want to experience in Japan. And when that happens, trust me, we will vlog it. But for now, those are in my top list. But if you want to know more about what we just talked about, hop on onto the Visit Japan Philippines website. It's just right here. Again, the links will all be in our description box below. There, you will find our collaboration articles, as well as a ton more articles about other Japanese spots, activities, and food, especially recommended for Filipino travelers. How about you guys? Where do you want to go or what do you want to do once it is safe to travel to Japan once again? Head to Visit Japan Philippines website right now. Choose your next destination and let me know where you are off to in the comments below. And don't forget to like this vlog, comment down below your suggestions, and subscribe to get more Japanese videos. I am Robbie D. Wait long. And she is <laughs> eating because she's so hungry. I'm my pee. <laughs> and hopefully we can go to Japan once again. Okay? I'll see you in Japan. Mata waish shimasho. What's that? Can you say it first? Mata awai shimasho. Yeah, mata awai shimasho <laughs> means we will see each other again for sure. Can you dance that one? What's Let's it? go to Japan. Let's go to Five, six, seven, eight. Let's go to Japan. I'll go for the freshest sashimi. Paired up with the best sake. What's the best sake? The best sake? I know. It's sake lamb. That's the real? You say it. Say it. And, and you say it with bravado. Sake lamb. Sake lamb? Yeah. <laughs> Balik na rin mo. You're playing with me? <laughs> Sige nga, anong abbreviation ng Japan para sa'yo? If you get this right, libre ko na next Japanese trip natin. Yung papunta. Yung pabalik bahala ka na. <laughs> Just. Nani? Mm -hmm. Always. Okay. Pray at night. Oh no! Tama ba? Yung nga dyan. You can watch a baseball game. Oh, is this what, what this is? Yup. Hokkaido Fighters. But hopefully, I can get more jerseys in Japan uh, mm -hmm. from Fukuoka, Tokyo, there's Osaka. Mm -hmm. Dami leagues then. But the best league is yung na digaw. Okay, tama.